Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a haul I recently placed with Everlane to look at some of their new denim styles. It's been a little while since I tried on some of their newer styles and I wanted to try some of their more summer themed styles. So I have a couple of denim shorts in this video and I also have two pairs of long jeans. If you do enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. But without further ado, let's get into the jeans. Okay, so the first pair that I have are the Way High Denim Shorts, which I'm wearing right now. They retail for $68. I got them in a size 26, and this is in the color Marina Bay, which is in a really nice medium blue color. There is a little bit of distressing, a little too much in my opinion, especially at the bottom edge, but if you like that destroyed look, then this will be a good option for you. And for reference, I am 5'4", roughly 115 pounds and I usually fit into a size 26 as my true size sometimes I can fit down to a 25 sometimes I have to size up to a 27 I would say that these fit very true to size they definitely have a very high waistline as you can see here they are right at the smallest point of my waist and this is a crop top so there's no skin showing it's actually going even a little bit down past the top of these jeans so so they absolutely are very high rise. As for the rest of the cut, they are a little bit looser in the bum and the thigh area. I find that there's just a little too much room in the crotch area here. When I kind of bend my legs a little bit, it feels a little bit like there's too much fabric in here. But if you have a larger bum compared to your waist, I think that you might really like this style. I'm feeling that it's a little bit snug on the waistline because I don't have a super small waist, but it is still pretty pretty comfortable. Now when I go to the side, there really isn't any excess room at the back here. It fits really well at the waist. So if you are someone who usually has difficulty with that gapping in the back, then I think this style is going to work really well for you. It has a really nice rigid cotton denim feel to it. And obviously it's a little bit of a longer cut denim short, which is really what I was going for when I placed this order. I love my 501 Levi's denim shorts but at this point in my life I'm looking for something that's just a little bit longer on the leg I feel more comfortable that way and I don't have to worry about them riding up as much and these are really great for that they're definitely age appropriate and I'm very happy that they're coming in style this longer length of shorts Okay, so the second pair of denim shorts that I purchased are these ones, which are the local rigid way high denim shorts. These are actually in a size 25 because they were sold out in a size 26, which is my typical size. And this is in the snoo fade color, which is in a really nice medium blue color, a little bit lighter than the previous pair. And while there is some distressing on the bottom, they're not hemmed, it's not nearly as as much as the previous way high pair there are no holes as you can see in the rest of the jean which I really prefer I'm not a big fan of so much distressing I'd actually prefer them to be hemmed at the bottom but I still do really like these ones similarly to the other pair these are very high-waisted as you can see they come up pretty much to the same length as the other pair I'm not seeing any skin even though this is a crop top and the length is the same as the other pair as well I want to say it's about five inches but I will link them down below so you can see the descriptions on the websites as well. Now this pair compared to the previous pair is quite a bit more expensive. This is $128 retail, which is definitely a steeper price tag than the $68. But if I'm being honest, I do prefer these ones. I feel like they flatter my body a little bit more. They fit me really, really well everywhere. And I'd say that this is better if you don't have a super small waist compared to your bum for example this pair even though it's a size smaller than the previous one the waist is about the same as the 26s in the regular way high denim shorts so there's a little bit of a difference there these do seem to have a little bit more give in the waist and in the back there is a little bit of gapping it doesn't bother me because it's very comfortable and when I just stand up like this you don't see it anyway but just be aware of that if you have problems with gapping in your jeans this pair might not be the perfect one for you there's a little bit less of that 
fabric in the crotch area when I bend my legs I'm not really getting that bunching diapery kind of look which I really don't like this is made with 100% organic cotton the denim is also really soft and while it does feel substantial I think it's a little bit more comfortable and thinner than the previous pair which also just makes it really convenient for the summertime, which is the main reason why I got these shorts. I'm honestly really impressed with them, especially being in a size 25 that they fit me really well. When I first put them on, they were pretty snug, but after wearing them around the house for a couple of hours, they're actually extremely comfortable. You could have told me that they were a size 26 and I would have believed you. So keep that in mind. If you are between sizes and you want something that's a little bit more fitted, you might want to size down but overall I really really love these denim shorts I wish they were a little bit less expensive but I think I might go ahead and keep them anyway because I can tell that I would get so much use out of them okay so now moving on to some of the long jeans that I purchased this first pair is the summer slouch jean it retails for $88 and I got it in the color blue shadow which is a little bit of a lighter color denim blue there's really not much distressing the bottom is hemmed completely and there aren't any holes anywhere on them these jeans however you have to size down significantly i know in the name of the jean they are meant to be slouchy jeans but these are a size 24 and as i've mentioned already my typical size is a size 26 maybe a size 25 and these are a size 24 and they actually are fitting really relaxed Still. So the one thing about these however is the back is super gappy like I'm not even sitting down or anything and there is a very visible gap at the back here so I would imagine that that would be an issue for a lot of people other than that I actually don't hate these jeans they are very comfortable they're made with 60% organic cotton and 40% recycled lyocell so they're definitely more of a thinner stretchier softer fabric I could definitely see myself working from home in these jeans so these are a high-rise pair of jeans at least on me and maybe they're not supposed to be I guess I could pull them down a little bit and they'd fit a little bit better without some of that gapping but then the crotch is really low and kind of awkward in my opinion so I feel like it's most comfortable to wear them high rise okay so last but not least we have another pair of long jeans these are the local rigid way high jeans the color is a salty water which is a really nice medium blue color again more minimal distressing so everything is hemmed there's no big holes in it which I really like but there is a little bit of fading and whiskering which I also really like I feel that it gives the illusion of a thinner leg now these retail for $168 so they definitely are on the pricier side of denim jeans especially for Everlane but these remind me almost exactly of the Levi's ribcage jean they are super high rise and really nicely fitted along the waist and the bum area this is in a size 26 and they fit me really well. There's very little gapping in the back, but overall it feels really comfortable. And the leg is a very wide, straight leg. A little bit too wide for me. I felt the same way when I tried on the Levi's ribcage jeans. These are almost exactly the same as those. Now, one other design detail that Everlane has done with these local rigid jeans is that they have this Everlane logo on the waistband, which I haven't decided if I think that's cool or a little bit cringy yet. They say Everlane Los Angeles. They're kind of subtle. I guess you can kind of cover it up if you don't like it, but just be aware of that. Now, these are also 100% organic cotton, like the local rigid shorts, but these feel a little bit more stiff and thicker than those for some reason. Overall, I think a lot of people are going to really love this style because of the high waist and the straight leg. I think that Levi's does a very, very similar style with their ribcage straight jeans, and I'm pretty sure that they are a fraction of the price of these ones so try them both out see what you think I don't think these are a bad pair of jeans but they are just a little bit too wide for me so I'm probably going to end up returning them but that is all that I have for you guys in this video if you enjoyed it then please give it a like and subscribe down below and I hope to see you in my next one bye